Mine or is that... It is mine. These guys own a rumble? And I didn't remember? Hi there, everybody. Welcome back to the sleepers. I just, uh, just couldn't, uh, remember. That I had this thing. Strange. Anywho, well, I mean, yeah, now, now I, I remember that I was very happy that Gracie had her personal pet now. Now somehow the memory returns, but we'll have to clean up this place somehow. I can't let the... Oh well. Filth? Where is it? So the... Rambo does spread filth and the timber wolves and the iguanas don't, obviously. Victoria goes on a tantrum. Ah, I'm back at the sleepers. Yoren, hey there. Welcome. Happy to see you. Ooh, she's... And... Yeah. She did it. And destroyed one of my reinforced barrels, but... Well. It's fine. It's fine. Why do we have actually only one mortar built here? I insist on at least a second one. And a couple of shells. I don't feel safe all of a sudden when I look at these numbers there. So, do until I got... Well, 30 high explosives? Yeah, that's... A, that's an okay number. And EMP... Uh, oh, no, 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 not, not EMP grenades. EMP shells. Something different. Okay. So, until I got 10. Is that sufficient? If I only go for a 10, I need more mortars. Because we're, we're going for the end game here, so I should prepare myself accordingly. Fanta, hey there, welcome. So, hey. My pen is uh, somehow well again. Animals aren't dying anymore. I wonder, I should, I should assign the thrombo to a certain area there. Wait a second, ostrich. Ah, let's, let's take that down that thing. I have decided while I was thinking about this place that I will radically reduce the amount of uh, livestock in this place. A farm in the desert is just a suboptimal business, and growing drugs is way more effective. <laughs> Though, I, I recently realized that <clears throat> I involuntarily made my challenge here harder by playing this vanilla. The Arconexus ending revolves solely around money. And, you know, most mods string in items that have pretty high item values. Vanilla is surprisingly vanilla when it comes down to item values. So... I'm struggling a bit at this point, but we're gonna get there. Doc, hey there! Yeah, the sleepers are back. I finished the, the Necromancers recently. They'll go on air during the course of the next week. With a, uh, with a sad feeling, I let them go, because I... I did... I basically did everything that I wanted to do there, and... Maybe I'll do one or two episodes if I find some crazy idea. But it's time to go for some new project. New old project, because I recently had the urge to return to this place after the Arconexus burnout fade, faded. I mean, I put myself a lot of uh, pressure on the table. Not only did I roll up a pretty difficult world, honestly, <laughs> the, the Kankalar Desert is a pretty harsh place to be. 
and there is not too much uh, good area on that world available. I think I rolled it up extra hot or something like that. Can't remember anymore. But it definitely looks like uh, a above average temperature. And uh, in addition to that, this 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 religion is bonkers. They they want to be high all day, and transhumanism. I still haven't uh, managed to satisfy all their needs. It's, uh, I was new with ideology. I didn't know what I did. But I love it. <laughs> That's a good thing about it. I am experienced enough that, at this game that I was able to keep this uh, whole shipwreck of a run alive all the time. And they, they really grow attached to me. Can't you reform ideologies? No, I can't, Dave. You need to enable that at the beginning of a run. You can't uh, weave that in during a run. They made that feature a while after the release of Ideology. Sadly, it didn't. Uh, it wasn't able to to put that in retroactively. I wish it would. It would be really good. So Bika. Oh no, come on. I hate it when stuff like that happens. I just wanted to check out how far we are. Jeez. My god, that's that's brutal. Whew. Okay. So where's that fire? In the lab, of course. <laughs> uh, because everything else would be boring. So 52 degree in there. Okay. Welcome back, batteries. A beard regime? Check is crazy and raw. Yeah, that's true. That's true, that's true. I mean, I got neural superchargers there, and we already got them satisfied. I mean, 400 watt uh, for, every, for everything, but... I, I also wanted to roleplay it in a way that everybody had a supercharger in this room, but I haven't managed as of yet. I mean, these things, they also add up some monetary value into your colony. Not too much, but something. What do you mean with beard regimes, a Santa? I, I'm somehow not getting the beard, beard thought. But I, I'm, I'm crazy tired today. You know? I had the kid the whole afternoon. <laughs> my my brain is a little bit uh, softened up, but I don't regret a thing. We had a good day. So let's repair that thing. Superchargers are weird. They accelerate your characters with all grades, so you can stop. Well, I I usually don't have any issues with food, but uh, my colony always overproduce food as like crazy. That's uh, smoke leaf addiction. You go here, but that's uh, part of my policy. I I really don't mind them doing superchargers and sleep accelerators. The sleep accelerators I don't have at all. The bio sculptors. Well, I think everybody needs one, but they they got really uh, well reworked but overall i mean if i remember correctly i need one for every single person in the colony wasn't it like that they got attuned to a person i guess you need to mass store preserve food yeah yeah since this is a vanilla run this is particularly challenging the workload on this colony is crazy because i don't have any mods that increase their hauling efficiency <laughs> Therefore, hauling is a pretty is a pretty big nightmare. I think I didn't enable the big hauling, or did I? Let me check. So no, I, I didn't. Uh, Achtung is the only is the only gameplay changing thing because I can't play without that. Clean this room. I couldn't uh, live without that. Uh, without that. Movement. So, let's see, does that smoke leaf? Yes, yes, it does, okay. So they're finally away from the, uh, we need the high life, uh, need penalty. For the most time of this run, 
these people had mental breakdowns because they wanted to get high. Now they're finally at the point. <laughs> And I also also have approved cannibalism, I think. If I remember correctly. Let me check. Yeah, acceptable. This made the... In the desert environment, uh, it made my survival a lot easier to play. Well, as a matter of fact, I, I'm... I'm one of that people, I, I didn't shave myself for uh, one and a half weeks or something. I have a pretty uh, weak beard growth. So. It's low effort, but it's also never, I'm not never able to, to grow myself a big bad beard. That nature didn't mean, mean to supply me with that. Let's smooth that part. Fully sterile room by school thing takes less time. Oh yeah, yeah, thanks for reminding me. I mean, I wanted to floor that place as soon as I can. I got some steel right now. We had some we had some trading going on in the last couple of episodes. So steel and silver is available. But do I nine two four six eight and nine <clears throat> Quite a ton of people in this place. So can I can I fit in the these sculptors in this room all together? And do I really want to do this all in just one room? But I guess yeah, it makes it all way more efficient. It's already pretty much of a strain to to build a friggin' bio sculptor pod for everybody here. So let's go. Let's industrialize this joint. Well, well. So, how many are these now? Six and eight. Well, can I put down here number nine. I don't like how they look, but we can we can move them, so it's fine. Yeah, sterile tiles, they need steel and silver. Thank you, thank you. That's, uh, that's very nice to say. Okay. Does this place actually need some some power-ups or am I am I happy? Yes, I'm not. Uh, so how the hell do I defend myself in the in a bigger picture? This is pretty, pretty mediocre at this point of the game. I do have a hospital here, it's at least something, but any breach rate or something like that would mess me up horribly. So I could trap up this place here. There's also this little beauty here. Ugh. Well, I, I plan to use this as a uh, suicide bomb when when a big raid or a siege dares to spawn here. I mean, we got methods. We got methods to defend ourselves. Colonist needs treatment. Asthma. Asthma. And I need bionics. Oh man, there's so, just so many, so many places that need work at once. I, I, I simply have trouble believing that I'm at actually eight years at this place. Usually my colonies are so much more prosperous after such a long time. I feel as if this place is really one of the hardest challenges that I've ever put myself up with. I don't know why, actually. I don't know what I did wrong, or... Well, desert is act... I guess desert is just, uh... Extreme in its own way. Ah, oh, I should... I should take down these ostriches. 
and power armors. I need more power armors. So, what did the marine armor cost again? Advanced component plus steel and uranium. So, perfect. Got everything. Make me two more, please. I really need. As much as I want to have bionics, I feel as if it's way more important right now to have to have the armor first because the combat will only get worse from this point on. The richer we grow, the worse we'll get. I know that. Yeah, transhumanists. Ash, hi there. Sorry, I, I, I kind of like missed when you came in a while ago. Here we are. Oh man, can't somebody do the cleaning? Ipe. What's holding you back from cleaning this place, Ipe? Tell me. Consuming a fine meal. Okay, fine. But what are you doing after? Hauling. Yeah, okay. Calling is important too. So, let's see. Let's put Cobra onto a cleaning duty. After smoking a fat one. And doing something for the immunity. Maybe one cleaner will be enough. But I really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw you dropped a few lines there a while ago. Okay, why is that thing banged up to? And who's doing the wardening here? Gracie. Ah, oh, good Gracie. So, I really hope that I'll make it here. And to all of the people that went on the... Uh, checking this on YouTube also... I do plan to do a new season as soon as I have fulfilled the first part of this Arconexus quest, because if I remember correctly, it's a three-part step, a uh, three-step procedure. And after that, Gracie will, will, will have a name change. That's all. Spoiler. Okay. Okay. Dromedary has given birth. I do like my Boomalo population though. It gives me a really good opportunity to farm chem fuel, which I can in return transform into shells. And I really enjoy to have a, a high amount of uh, ammunition. And since the Biosculptor pots will eat up most of my food, it's something I didn't pay attention to. And since that's the case, I don't have that much food for for raiding camp fuel. So I guess boomalos really pay off in the long run. It's the first time that I really use the camp fuel production of the boomalos for, for a specific strategy. In the past, I, I always just sold that stuff. Okay, gigantic construction. Persona. If I would be after the ending of the game, really this one is a pretty, pretty juicy quest. It's the uh, rewards. Silver plate armor. 20 advanced components. I, I really start considering to do this. The rewards are really juicy. So, how much stone do I have available here? I mean, it is a rather demanding quest. 20 on 25 size is also pretty big. But, the thing is, this quest does not demand that this monument is, be is protected in any way. I think I, I should be able to even demolish it afterwards. more days. Tough 
decision. Really tough decision. So 20 on 25 is that. Well, it's quite a chunky thing, but, well, terrain affordance here, so, kind of nasty. Can't build everywhere where I want to build, for example, this place here would be perfect. Just would need to cut down on the fields a little bit, but this makes it uh, considerably harder. And this whole place is completely not available. Oh man. And then I'm already pretty quickly outside of my base. So I guess here, I guess here would be enough room, wouldn't it? So 20 on 25, yeah, somehow, somehow. Pretty challenging, actually. But 20 advanced components are... Eh. But your uh, advanced components make the uh, job quite appealing. I mean, you can transform that stuff into all manner of different uh, useful things. Destroy the old monument. Mm. Yeah, Ash, I'm I'm actually way less thinking about where to put it to be uh, to be honest, but I, I really think your idea is the best so far. Thanks. I'm more thinking about whether or not I want to put myself under that workload. That's the way bigger issue there, because this, this colony just recently escaped from a, a pretty big crisis, and I think I'm going to uh, I'm going to not go to. This is a greedy decision. We're we're just basically uh, back to normal. I don't even have a big amount of potatoes on on stockpiles. I don't feel well with that decision. Exactly, Ash. Exactly. Having these is not uh, really a any making anything easier but i'll keep one thing as a really good advice i'll dismantle that old monument that's what i'm going to do but first i need to remove the roof otherwise it could be really 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 dangerous so cobra i love the fact that you're cleaning this place and all but yeah smoke a fat one i got it i got it but now dude can you please clean out the freaking laboratory and then maybe the chapel of uh, the the holy uh, illusion bela hey there welcome nice to see you so, poor old Victoria. Oh, Cobra is pretty uh, tired, actually. But I really want this place to be cleaned out. There's still that uh, insect toy bonanza left over in there. We had a infestation in there. Pretty bad news. Okay, but at least slowly. Slowly things are looking a little bit less horrible here. Okay. And Hawk is creating these uh, marine armors. Very good. I mean, the good news in this colony, we got really, really strong crafters. I, I, if I remember correctly, I got very, very talented people here. Wow. I love it. I got very talented people here. Food poisoning, incompetent cook. Obviously, everybody is talented except for cooks, but, uh, well, you know. 
probably I should have disabled these. It must have been Hammer or Cobra. For sure. I love it that the game doesn't tell you who actually is the culprit. I mean, that would be possible. <laughs> that would be possible. The game could read out that information. So... I noticed that my animals... What does it call that? Animals are eating from the fields. I just saw that... Uh, that Brambo eat from my field there. He shouldn't. Do hungry animals uh, override their... Uh, there are loud zones. Well, whatever. Well, I'm freaking tired, honestly. Bela, I'm... <clears throat> ha I've had a pretty, uh... Pretty long day. But... Yeah. Apart from that, I'm feeling great. Is that happy tired when you, uh, when you... Had a long but fulfilling day, basically. And fire starting spree. Oh yeah. Ham hammer the wacko. I love it that he's uh, spreading fire in Gracie's room. Imagine you're you're an insane cult leader and one of your people loses every loses his mind and starts to <laughs> set your room on fire <sighs> i love this place for these moments here it's a complete uh it's completely uh insane here okay it's a hammer you're you're back to normal shouldn't you shouldn't you be wielding something Maybe I'll 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 give up and reinstall the um, where where's my gun mod because it's it's really friggin' tiring me to to re-equip their guns time and time again. Ah, uh, Bondi has lost her gun too. This oh my God, fantasy! Wow, well, <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. That's so kind of you. Thank you for your support. That's appreciate a lot. This is very personal. Ah, uh, you're studying for your uh, exam tomorrow, Ash. I wish you good luck on that. Don't uh, don't stress yourself out. Hope you're successful in learning there. This is very personal. I don't miss learning at all. I hated uh, I hated learning for for tests and such. And trauma, retired bard, and Nibor, you're uh, Raphael Rope. You. This pretty, is very you're, personal. You're new to the channel or among the subscribers. I welcome you. Hope you're enjoying the stay. Happy to have you. And this Bob, is very personal. Happy to have you uh, to see you here as well. So people got the big pukies. I hate this. I hate this so much. It's only one batch of bad uh, meals. Tantrum, Raphael. He's going to destroy one, destroy one of my robes. I like these tantrums because they are over real quick. You know, tantrums though stay a double-edged sword because you know it's it's all fun and games until they go. In your in your shell chamber, for it for a for a good old tantrum, and just you know, things happen. I, I never ever lost a a colonist to some something like that. I gotta admit. Or well, no. There was a uh, there was an incident where the anti-grain war had once, but it's really really a long time ago. The the classic meme, you know, ghost tantrum, 
sees anti-grain warhead, destroys the entire room. Cheers to that. That was the day when I learned that shells don't belong in your common storage. <laughs> I just kept the anti-grain warhead when I was a noob, because it looked valuable. I was like, it must be good for something. Back in that time, I didn't even use mortars at all. That was the most ironic part about this uh, demise of the colony. But would do again. Don't regret it, mate. Learning in RimWorld is one of the most fun experiences of failure that I ever had in my gaming life, ever. That's one thing that this game delivers in a very, very amazing way. And I'm not the only one seeing it like that. So what does Hammer actually do all day? He's supposed to be my constructor, but... He's also the handler. Yeah, never mind. He's not doing anything anymore. <laughs> so Hawk is on the crafting bench. <sighs> well, we're going to assign Gracie to the construction. I think that's a good plan. I got two, pe two people as field hands here. So her, jobs is, she, her job is not that uh, necessary here anymore. But I really miss somebody doing the construction work. We don't get anything done here anymore. That's not necessary. <laughs> yeah, Fanta was on a, was on a uh, gifting spree. I like gifting sprees. So what can we do here? Um, conversion ritual. Did I already convert Bika to see the truth? No, I didn't. Why didn't I? Come on, let's do this. The conversion ritual has begun. So Bika, you know, the world as you knew it, it's all fake. You gotta get out of it. We'll help you. Sincerely, Gracie. So, I, I did reduce the certainty, okay. Who's my priest again? I assigned Hawk to that job, didn't I? So, as soon as Bika is back on her feet, I'm going to slam one convert spell on her. I'm still breaking resistance, but you know. But, yeah, it's just that good. Nice shooter, good plants. Very, very good. In the desert, field hands are invaluable. Because, you know, the, the ground, the fertile ground is rare. And you don't have that much wildlife to live from. You really need to have a high output of agricultural goods to, to survive. Otherwise, you'll easily starve to death when you have some nasty instance like toxic fallout or stuff like that. Well, that's so much appreciated, Fanta. That's so much appreciated. Ah, there we go. My dudes are getting high. It's making me happy. Oh, both goods trader time, so, uh, okay, let's see what we can trade. Overall, I consider myself very, very happy to have such good company like you guys. You make it really, uh, worthwhile to hang around here every evening. I know you see that, uh, quite the other way around, but, you know, I enjoy my work a lot, and I want you guys to know that. You play a major part in that. Because, you know, a show is nothing without appreciation, believe me when I say that. But enough of that. Sell some human leather robes. <laughs> Back to business. So... We got 
not enough money so what can they provide leathers there aren't any interesting leathers healing uh, herbal medicines i'll buy that food i don't really want to you guys are selling nothing how dare you well i could buy wood wood is quite valuable here okay i i, I get you guys but i need I need you to take more of the leftovers of the fallen. So, apart from that, kind of disappointing, but yeah, I'll, I'll keep, you guys keep the spare change. But I am pretty happy about the wood and the medicine, honestly. Pretty valuable stuff. Yeah, the funky leather. Wasn't it also funky meat? Wasn't it funky meat in the start? Is there a funky leather interaction too? Oh, jeez. Yeah. Joe really went crazy on that one. <laughs> so, there's Boomalopes eating my cotton. I don't like that. And there's an assault rifle deteriorating out there. We grew, we grew, we grew quite decadent. <laughs> we don't need that gun. Just let it rot there in the sand. <laughs> okay. It seems to me as if I'm not getting around with the drug production here. What can I do? I can't remember what kind of job this was. Ah, oh, yeah, crafting is synthesized. Crafting is also synthesizing drugs. So, well, I think I'm going to assign Lumi on that one, too. Yeah. Probably gonna work. I need more workforce on that one. Doesn't work like that. God, we're being raided. Multi-angle. Multi-angle savages. Oh, I'm so freaking tempted. <laughs> We're not going to do this. Or should I? So... I mean... They're practically sitting around the mechanoids. And what do you guys think? Are 27, 27 of these strong enough to take down five of those? I somehow doubt it. I somehow would not assume that we, we win it. But there is one good thing. The tribal people stand in two different places. So there's a decent chance that the mechanoids would focus their fire in one direction. Do it, do it. <laughs> okay, Ash. So, yeah, well, what? we're here for the fun. Just don't. I, I, I just would be really, really angry if I have to clean out the mechanoids myself. Yeah, that's all. I really don't want to uh, get on them myself, but I got a smoke launcher, so. Ah, well, I can't do it. Then, then everything's fine. So that wonderful dirty trick. Arise, my minions! It's so stupid that this works. Honestly, it shouldn't. All right, here we go. Ash made me do it. It's his fault. Anybody asks, he made me do it. They are beginning their assault. Ah. Huh. All right, they they took down the uh, the turret. The mech cluster has been defeated. You did well, my minions. Awesome. It's one of my favorite things in this game. <laughs> oh, did Scyther is going bonkers here? All right, but it looks as if the uh, as if the uh, natives are actually winning it. That centipede centipede is uh, badly 
banged up. But, yeah, well. I think I'll still have to deal with the leftover mechanoids, sadly. I somehow feel as if the uh, tribals will lose that one. Mm -hmm. But, <clears throat> let's see. There's not a single mechanoid that's in good shape anymore. Mech clusters are using neutral forces to do their dirty. Well, Hjorin, this is so. Uh, this is one of my favorite strategies in general to use neutrals uh, to to do stuff like that. But Abanbi, what the hell are you doing? Trying to kill yourself, hey? Oh, it's even getting better. The uh, mechanoids should actually be running into a caravan. Okay. Because they are going to... Yeah. Wow. IQ 200. Ah, the bad magic to do the dirty work. Yeah. That's... Uh... That you can put a uh, put a bed under the uh, enemies and they'll and they'll wake up uh, by doing that because a, a this this kind of furniture doesn't cost you anything and it doesn't need to be built up. I feel as if this is one of the biggest hacks that I, that have ever uh, been taught in this game. Drama, hey there, welcome. Happy to see you. So, well, let's just take care that none of my people accidentally uh, runs into this area, and let let these uh, these uh, let the simulation fight itself. There's no need to interfere. It's definitely a crazy thing to do. And look at these idiots. They're 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 just inviting the centipede to uh, to wreck them up. This looks like I would be fighting it. Ooh. Wow, they're they're really lucky there. The really ironic thing, wow, Banbi is such a sassy girl. The really ironic thing is that my people would be totally able to. Uh, to defend that, and they almost have no losses at all, but, you know, should I bother? <laughs> it's way more fun that way. So, also I keep telling myself that the best fight is the one where none of your people gets wound get wounded at all. So why is she moving so slowly? Asthma, stoned, power armor. Yeah, okay. That actually tells a tale. So are you guys actually not taking down the the pikeman sniping you folks? Is that really what's happening here? I mean, I'm not judging, but... Ah, now they got it. Good job, everybody. Alright, Ash, you were totally right about that whole thing being worth... Effort, zero. Profit, 100. I mean, okay, a lot of the loot just burned away. I, I gotta admit that was a little bit unfortunate. But that's basically the only thing that was suboptimal. And the enemy, uh, uh, no, uh, the traitors, they don't even hate me for that. That's the most fascinating thing. Mm -hmm. Steel chunks. Alright, so much for that. Uh, Abby ass raid, kinship raid. Good riddance. The caravan, yeah, I didn't, uh, I, I didn't see that one coming either. That was a very, very lucky coincidence. 
well, the fact that the, the tribals were, were flanking that thing from two sides was just too juicy to, to pass up the, the opportunity. So, auto slaughter. I need some, I need some different, uh, I got eight boobs. Jeez. Oh, I'm too tired to set that up tonight. Let them eat my stuff. We're going to sell them at some point. Seriously, tonight is one of those evenings where I'm really not capable of uh, configuring the, the this uh, table. <laughs> I respect my, my shortcomings too. Inspired recruitment. Ooh. Ooh, Ipe. Wonderful. So how long does that go? Eight days. We need to convert now. Because everything else will be just fine. I also forgot to use the conversion spell. I wanted to do that day. Yeah. Lumi did that to... Oh, they they shouldn't be. No wonder that this took uh, abnormally long. I, I, I forgot to uh, put them out of their job there. Okay, that explains a lot to me. That explains a lot to me. So let's follow a day of Gracie. Go around with the pod. <sighs> Usually I would, but I don't exactly see this bunch here as people going for dryads and nature worship and all that jazz. Right, let's see how quickly can Gracie do the job. 4% per attempt. It's gonna take a while. I just hope that it's gonna be during these eight days. Because conversion ritual will take quite some time again. It's just a good opportunity. But I won't accept anybody who's not seeing the truth, you know. So, Gracie, what are you actually doing? You're hauling stuff. Wonderful. So, we researched the Johnson Tanaka Drive, and congratulations, folks. I'm out of uh, projects. Ah, good stuff. Gracie is re restocking the traps. I like that. Didn't I have growth for wood a while ago? I, I dropped that project, didn't I? So these traps are actually... need something better than that. Hammer, inspired trade. Yeah. Alright, ah, perfect. Victoria is doing... is doing the uh, rough processing. She might be extremely slow, but I really don't care too much about that. She won't be doing anything else in her old, uh, in her elder years. So first, she researched uh, how to, how to fly to the stars, and then she made Yayo and Flake all night long. What a career! Well, Ash, don't you worry. Rim World will will find you back. In good, in good shape. I have those uh, faces with the game too, where I feel as if I'm totally burned out and I, I can't see it anymore and such, but well, after a while I come back to it and it's really great. But I, I do understand that the beta testing phase must have been a pretty, uh, pretty high strain for you. Because that definitely doesn't sound like uh, like an easy chore especially since I now see how effing much work it is behind to do the uh, Arpa Nexus thing and you said you did that several times so 
you have all good right to be a little bit burned out. So they'd like to purchase two bionic eyes from you. That's actually quite tempting. Roleplay-wise, role play a pretty good thing, but no. If I had two bionic eyes, I would implant them into somebody's uh, body. Alright. Ugh, that conversion process is taking painstakingly long. I mean, social 10, why is Bika so hard to convince? Uh, step fast. Well, of course. <laughs> no shame, Ash. No shame in that. Mm. I started using death mode a lot when I started to go deeper into the whole um, tutorial business. That's when I started out to do really a lot of um, death mode cheating. But mm, with, the, with sandbox games, I'm always like, there's no real form of cheating. The only cheating would be to cheat yourself out of fun. Hmm. Let's sell some animals. And they're not buying everything there. Especially not the boomlobes. They don't even show up here. Hmm. Hmm. Well, okay then. And they got a lot of high-tech gear. I want to buy that. So... Medicine. Do I want to have more medicine? That's the question. <laughs> Suicidal securities. That sounds like a very trustworthy security uh, provider, gotta say. <laughs> sounds like these people really mean it when they're providing service and they're going to to the max suicidal securities <laughs> oh they got a psychic insanity lens mm. yeah definitely my buy these things are actually too good to to not take them the only issue that I see is I'm actually a little bit low on money. I'd love to buy their steel as well. Oh, I can. Oh, plasteel too. But, jeez. No, we can't afford it. I could sell the Brumbo. But... I'd say, if Gracie gets attached to anything, it would be this, this pure being. Okay, well, I'll leave it like that. I find that hard to accept, but it'll be okay. So, how is the Brumbo trained at this point? Not at all. <laughs> not to uh, doesn't look too promising but well it seems as if there is somebody trying to teach that uh, beasts and things so maybe maybe we just didn't get there yet I mean I do realize that Rumbos are quite demanding when it comes down to to taming I do love my wolf pack though I generally love to defend my bases with animals. 
Okay, guys, it's uh, it's about time to to clean up this place a bit. I'm tired of animals eating my crops, so ostrich revenge. It's Especially those sassy boomalos there. We're not done yet. It thinks it can run, but things have changed. Right, there we go. I think there is one ostrich still in the boundaries here. Got it under control. But seriously, it's really a pain if animals eat your crops. I should have done that a long while ago. Just so I always forgot. But to be fair to myself, this whole place was a bloody mess most of the time. Okay, wonderful. That wealth game is really going forward very, very slowly, though. Have we finished one of the marine armors yet? Yes, we did. And it's not lying around here anymore. That means somebody is wearing it already. Okay. Need to check out how to configure these beasties. Been a while. Forgot everything about them. Okay. Unfinished gun. Everybody's armed. That's good. How much time is left? Five days. Oh, jeez. Tough nut to crack. At least that's going to crack 10%. Too bad that the conversion ritual has been that close. good to see that this part of the base is finally seeing some some progress it bothers me a lot that I'm not getting Bika converted 2% Gracie is pretty convincing it's not as if, as if she's bad at what she's doing. She needs to reassure herself now. Guys, don't let the boss down now. You all suffer. <laughs> Terrible. Terrible leader speech. But don't you guys dare to, to blame it on Gracie. Mm. I don't know if they got reskin. Probably. I only remember that the costs and these things uh, underwent a lot of rebalancing. The gist of it is they take a little bit shorter in their cycles, I think. 
and they need less nutrition, and people automatically do that once they have a attuned biosculptor for them. I think that was the gist of it. But don't nail, nail me down on it, please. <clears throat> Cargo pots. Ooh, Synthret fell from the skies. Somebody in the simulation does like Gracie. Okay. But it's good to see that the Biosculptor pots are getting done finally. Now I need some silver to actually to actually build the sterile tiles but that's another day's business so how's work going conversion to it somehow feel as if i won't be making it Well, whatever. I'm gonna wait until Ipe's inspiration is really low, and there until there's not really much time left, and then I'm going to use it. But until then, I'm going to try to do as much conversion as possible, because once she's once she's convert, uh, once she's uh, recruited, I won't be able to do this uh, regular conversion work anymore. Maybe it'll work if I just pay attention to it closely. I mean, I did grind down a couple of person now uh, pretty quickly. Now when I min max the uh, conversion attempts. Uh, Dabada, hey there. <clears throat> How's it going in RimWorld? Really, really good. Ash, I'm not taking pills. It's kind of a pill, but it's a brown, chocolatey pill. No, it's not a pill at all, but... Mmm. <laughs> good, good luck on that, Nevada. You'll get used to Immortal Mode. But... I had my trouble at the start, too. Everything feels a lot harder, but hope you'll be getting there. Mmm, you guys, buying all of my animals. Delighted to see you. For the love of um, what's holy, buy those friggin' boomerlopes. Also, take those iguanas. All except for one breeding pair. Also, I really want to reduce my my animal my animal stocks again. Mm. I'm gonna kick out those ostriches as well. I got one male ostrich and one female. That's enough. Just keeping the bare minimum right now. Well, <clears throat> I can only say good uh, good luck then, Daba. <laughs> okay. So, but what can these people do except for buying my animals? I ask myself. They are also selling components and advanced components. Today is a good day. Also, glitter world medicine. Yeah, glass steel. Now, what can I give you guys that you are? Maybe the Thrumbo. No. Not the Thrumbo. Many things, but not the Thrumbo. So I guess I'll have to accept that a couple of things are just not possible this time.
Well, <laughs> yeah, let's sell those Goranglin seeds. Why not? And something like that. Okay. Transform animals into components. I like that. No problem, Nevada. No problem. ACS is by far one of the most confusing games I've ever played. And if it wouldn't been for the game being so well made, I would have dropped it. Okay. But you really notice how how much love the devs had for their game or have for their game and that really really makes it shine fair of architectics oh my god that's what i what i used the lumber for wasn't it it's when we burn once a year an effigy no so we're going to need 80 wood and we're going to need them now oh damn that's so bad Woo. difficult problem actually as a matter of fact i've seen that i had made sculptures out of that so well <sighs> that won't help me now but for the future I want a couple of saguaro cacti, cacti here. We could, we could chop the anima tree. How much does it yield? Twenty-four. What a lousy yield. So far away from the eighty I need. So well, I got an idea what I want to do. Let's check our neighbors. So what can I bring them? Do I have something for a trade? Please tell me yes. Well, one human leather uh, robe. Well, okay, I'll take that. As a matter of fact, right now, what depends is that I get some, some wood somewhere from. So let's bring some chem fuel too. And I'll send Hawk and Ipe and not and the dromedaries. Yeah, let's do this. Maybe I can buy some wood from the neighbors. Doesn't the animal tree scream and deep before you kill it? Yes, it does, Duck. It does. But honestly, if it would have yielded enough wood, I would have considered it. Because roleplay-wise, for this bunch, it would make sense. They got really no respect from uh, for anything, so... But, well... I bet this will work that way, too. Okay. Oh, I just hope that uh, Ipe's... Inspiration doesn't wear off on the way down there, but whatever. Even if so, even if so, it's not the end of the world. Wow. Steadfast people are so hard to convert. It's really cool. I, I bet I ruined the uh, inspired thing there. I got the feeling as if I must have missed the period of time there. So, just like I thought, my plan is successful. They got wood. Okay, I'm gonna sell the chem fuel here nevertheless. And we're, we're going to buy some more wood. There we go. But not more than that. I want to <clears throat> have one, one more effigy in storage, basically. Hmm. 
Yo hammer, your room looks like crap. Oh look, it's all blinky and shiny in there. I love it. So there's one more marine armor being created. So well there's only four more necessary, so after that three. Bad, not bad. Getting it covered sooner or later. Can make a Pinocchio out of it. Love the idea. So, Gracie. And Ipe. Expires in 1.3 days. Hey, wonderful. I am actually positively surprised and because only at 16% uh, remaining faith, so it seems as if I really got a decent chance of, every of everything going down correctly. So, where's the lumber? There's the lumber. I'll let Gracie do the building work on the effigy all herself, you know. Some stuff, it's better the boss herself does it. I mean, in some way it would have been very, very stylish to make an effigy out of the anima trees would. Diabolic, even. But, well. We're not going to make that. But, actually, I don't want these uh, wooden traps anymore. I need that wood for, for other things. Timberwolf is starving. Oh, Timberwolf ain't allowed in the freezer, I guess? Should I change that? I don't want my animals to starve, and the wolves are very, very valuable members of my society. Guarding for baits. Ooh. Five prisoners. Well. No. <sighs> Not with that kind of workload. So, hawk convert. Jeez. Oh man, okay. Ten hours remaining. Is Ipe actually assigned toward him? Yes. because we interacted with her a while ago? I guess so. It would be, of course, very, very tragic if I now would miss the opportunity because I converted one time too much. It does seem as if this would be the case. Troll hard. <laughs> uh, goodbye, inspiration. Well played. Well, whatever. Then at least I'm going to stick to the conversion plan now. Yeah, thanks, Ash. Indeed. Manhunting tortoises attack. Did they at least come in plenty? 28 manhunting tortoises. Hell yeah. It's gonna be fun. Hear the chittering. <laughs> uh...
So usually, when when animals come in larger numbers, I do take them seriously and 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 and, and fight at a, at a choke point and such. But I I must say, I'll, I might be a little bit sassy, but I do strongly believe in my ability to run away from them if they should start overrunning us. It's really hard not to. Not to fall into puns and jokes here. Okay. I need to speed up the game so they can come in in time. Oh no, they're going to attack the tower. Or do they? Yeah. They're gnawing on the turrets now. Alright. Release the animals. Gotta say, I, I love those uh, Manhunter packs a ton. They are iconic meme material. Well done. Oh man, they, they actually did kill a turret. Dang. There I thought we would be uh, getting away without losses. Scaria, well... I consider Scaria as a necessary evil though, gotta admit. At some point... The Manhunter events were more of a blessing than a uh, than a test, and therefore I don't know. Although I gotta say, Scaria at some to some degree overdoes the job as well. I don't know. Fun fair of Architechnics. At least it was better than Gracie's Lost Speed. <laughs> Exactly, Ash. Exactly. really wonder how to configure that correctly, but I'm not going to dig into that today. I'm going to leave that for the next sessions. A tailoring bench. Mm -hmm. I do have a lot of cloth. Good night, Bella. Thanks for hanging around tonight. So, we got five tortoises that were actually eatable. Could have been worse. But it seems as if I'm getting another uh, backlog of hauling jobs again, so I'll have to assign Cobra to the, to the hauling job again. Okay. Well, at least Bika is now convinced that this is all just an illusion. We did well. Ooh. And the psychoids got processed. So, well, wealth wise. Came back home with less wealth than before. Well, not so surprised about that. The monetary value of a high quality piece of clothing versus the monetary value of wood. Well, there's a tiny disparity between those. <laughs> Okay. Let's 
so obviously I did manage to load them all up with nutrition mostly. That's good. And the marine armor bill has been completed. And we got an infestation in the bong chamber. Do these insects have no sense of decency? Jeez. Okay. It's gonna be a tough one. But at least I got people in power armors this time. No, not the, not the walls. Okay, so... Let's see. Need a couple of frontliners here. People with heavy armor. I don't like to do it like that. Usually I have a I like to have a front line of decent uh, melee folks, but we're going to make it work with the animals going in. And then going to pull pull away the first people there. Oh my god. <gasps> the flat screen jelly! Outrageous. Okay, they took down Victoria. Or, well, they didn't. She just got downed. Well. So the first piece of wall has been gnawed down. And. The mega spiders and all are spreading into the room. This is really bad news, in general. But luckily, I got I got untrained animals that do the guarding job once they uh, spread too closely to us. There's not too much opposition behind that anymore. It's not ideal to have people with guns in the front line, but I put them up front because they had power armor, and therefore they're lasting a couple of shots. Okay. Timberwolf died. I actually freaked out for a second and thought one of my people got a random bullet of friendly fire and dies. Speaking about dying, so Raphael, you're you're pretty much pretty close to death. So who was a good doctor again? Raphael, wonderful. So Cobra Tend here without meds. And somebody patch up Victoria as well. Gracie, how was your medical? Good enough. So. Ten Victoria. There it goes. So. I hate it when they do that. You know, Raphael, if you're that smug... I considered... Uh, I considered uh, le leaving him to self-treatment. So, Cobra tends to the Timber Wolf. Let's take a Bonby. So that problem's gone. Hawk needs some patching up. Got hungry pan animals, but it's only a matter of time. So, tending to timber wolf, hunting mega spider. Could somebody please now just do one thing for me? Here. All some rice to these poor starving animals? I mean, it's not as if they need to starve. Got all the food. Got all the food. Could 
who did use Little World Met there? I heard that. Stop using Little World Meds randomly. Okay. So. Starving animals. Okay, for the first time. The stockpile isn't depleted immediately. Victoria, incredible break risk. Yeah, okay. Timber wolf is infected. Okay, Raphael is on the job here. Okay. Good night, Panda. Thanks for your pleasant stay today. Have a good night, man. I'm gonna head off here too as well. It's got it's it has grown late and I think I really should pay some closer attention to the next steps. There's so much leftover workload there, there's extreme break risk around. I lost my recreation room. Bloody mess. And yeah. Good point to uh to stop here before something terrible happens. There's one thing though I want to make sure. Okay, because I'm recruit because that's one thing that I tend to forget. Okay, good night everybody. Thanks for your good company and hope to see you all to around tomorrow or whenever you make it again. Bye bye, y'all. Yeah,